Hi, this is a video where I've used eight colors to stain this rock to a tannish granite effect. Okay, so I've mixed up eight colors. There's like three tans. And there's a two different, this is a rust, rust, black, army green. Those are the eight colors that I'm going to use. Oh, a, a gray, which is just a white with a black in it. And um, I'm going to speckle those on, making the granite bolder here, granite color theme. Stick with me. Okay, I've created a couple of sample boards here, and we're going to be playing on them and there. I'm going to try and show you color. This is an orange that's uh, 9 to 1. Water is 9. Paint is 1. And I'm using this, uh, I've got a lot of different application tools that I can use. Um, but this is a uh, a whisk broom, and it's the best for creating larger speckles. So I'm just going to flick it. And what I'm going to try and do, oop, what I'm going to try and do is cover the rock to where it's about maybe 50% of the area is covered with this speckle. Again, you can't put it on too fast because it's going to run. I have a white uh, rag that's wet. Usually it's in my back pocket, but today it's not. But if you get a run, you just daub it. You don't wipe and smear it, you daub it. Now, that's not 50% coverage yet, but we can't put it on all at once because it'll gather together. Each little, each little uh, speckle will gather together and then they'll start to run. Let me show you this up closer. Okay, here's a little bit closer and you're at the point right now there's still water droplets on the surface i don't know if you can see that with the different sheen but uh and again these are just some hydro seals that cracked up i put it on really thick but they'll, it'll be good for us to get a, a color you're starting to see a little run here where a couple of drops gathered together that's not yet bad but it could get the more i put on here the worse it gets it's early it's not heat yet i chose to do this in the uh, shaded area so i could get the color across now i'm about to start doing this i'm gonna back the camera up and you're gonna see me put on the first color of orange Okay, so the first color orange is on. Now, I did go in this, like in these areas where I just tried to cover 50%. And then I hit a couple of areas that were a little more intense, as I usually do, trying to create a little randomization. But right now, I've got all three of the rocks. Okay, it took a while for this to dry. You basically, if you took a paper towel and you pushed it on there and you looked at the paper towel, you wouldn't want to see any wet color. Uh, if you have an orange that you've chosen, you come by with another color and there's, that's wet and your other color, they come together and they mix and they make a third color that you didn't really want. So right now we're all dry on all these rocks and going now with the second darker color of, well, I think actually I'm going to do the black. The black is a 12 water to one paint ratio. And Okay, the black is dry now, and we're starting to see the sun, so I'm wondering how well this will show. Once I start getting in the sun versus shade, I mean, you can see the color really good here, and then as I get in the sun, I don't think it transmits as well, but nevertheless. Okay, you can see some of this army green right here. You can see the speckles of it. There's another little streak, which is throwing the brush in one direction there, but... So far, again, we got the gray cement, orange, black, and army green, and all the rocks have been hit. And you're starting to see, still, the gray is predominant in this. It's still going to appear. Okay, so now we've got the uh, rust, which this is a big spot of it right here. You can see the rusty, the original orange. Let's see if I can find. There's two different oranges. There's the bright orange which is the top of my finger and then there's the rust orange the rust orange was diluted a little bit more i think i went 10 no 11 to 1 on that because i knew it was a little more intense okay this will be the last color that i use the wisp room on and i'm going to go to the spray gun it's finer okay tan uh a rusty tan is uh four to one you can see I'm inundating that with some speckles. 
These are still pretty good size. Okay, that's got the first color of tan on. Again, it's a rusty tan. I don't know if you can see this very well, but the gray is still showing through and it will continue to do till the very end. I'm not sure how well this plays out on film. So far, uh, we have the gray cement, the light orange, the black, the army green, the rust, and then the tan. So I think that's six colors. So I got two more colors to do up here a little bit. Anyway, it starts to look like something after, towards the end. Stick with me. Cool, now I didn't get the white on film as far as applying it. I think that the sample will may show it a little better. And now I'm just gonna basically go over it with the, the light tan and give it a pretty good dosing to cover up and kind of make the final color that I'm looking for, so stick with me. Okay, guys, well, that's got it uh, stained. I'm gonna let that dry, take a lunch, wait till the shade comes in here, and then I'm gonna spray it with a 100% uh, acrylic that's carried in a xylene-based solvent sealer, and that lasts five years, and I'll give it like uh, two, three good coats, and then it'll have a little bit of sheen for about two weeks, and then it'll die down. But right now, that's the color that I was after. I wanted a lighter, tannish color, but the panther is gonna be black shiny so it's going to have a good contrast there well thanks for watching my video if you have any questions give me a call bye